Hi, I'm Dr. Blake Bailey, an emergency medicine physician. And I'm Dr. Michael Wynn, also an emergency medicine physician. Now, imagine you have a two-year-old male with a known foreign body in the airway that is brought to your small community ED. You're unable to bag the patient and unable to place an ET tube due to the foreign body. This is the feared, can't intubate, can't ventilate scenario. What would you do next? This is the indication for the needle cricothyrotomy. Then, once the needle is through the cricothyroid membrane, what equipment do you need in your shop to oxygenate this patient? First, let's review the indications. Needle cricothyrotomy is the preferred method for securing the airway in the crash airway situation for infants and young children. A surgical cricothyrotomy is contraindicated in this population due to the small size of the cricothyroid membrane. More specifically, this procedure is indicated after failed attempts at endotracheal intubation, the inability to ventilate by bag valve mask, or airway obstruction above the level of the cricothyroid membrane. Contraindications include the ability to secure the airway through less invasive means or cases of laryngotracheal transection. Placement of the needle can be complicated by subcutaneous emphysema, kinking of the catheter, bleeding, malposition of the catheter, posterior tracheal wall perforation, and pneumothorax. Also, complications of ventilation include barotrauma, which is also more common with complete upper airway obstruction, pneumothorax, pneumomediastinum, and hypercapnia with respiratory acidosis. This is what you need to perform the procedure. We endorse the use of items easily found in most emergency departments. I like to think of the procedure in two parts. Number one, placement of the angiocath through the cricothyroid membrane. And number two, ventilation through the angiocath. Placement requires only two items, a 12 or 14 gauge angiocath and a syringe filled with one to two mLs of saline. Readily available safety or auto guard needles found in most emergency departments, the ones used to start IVs, won't do. You can't attach a syringe to the end of them. Attach the 12 or 14 gauge needle with the overlying angiocath to a syringe filled with saline. Most texts endorse a 3 or 5 ml syringe but for me, the quickest way to obtain a partially filled syringe is to take the pre-filled saline flush and squeeze out over half the volume. So that's what you need for placement. There are three possible setups for bagging through the angiocath. Sure, you can use high pressure oxygen tubing, but again, that takes a while to find. Additionally, for children under five who have smaller total lung capacities and smaller tidal volumes, bagging is preferred over jet ventilation. So here are the three setups. Number one, take the adapter off of the size 3.5 endotracheal tube and attach that directly to the angiocath. Number two, take the adapter off of a 7.0 endotracheal tube and attach that to a plungerless 3 ml syringe. Attach that syringe directly to the angiocath. Number three, take the adapter off of a 2.5 endotracheal tube and attach it directly to cut IV tubing, the IV tubing with the lower lock, and attach that tubing directly to the angiocath. Now to the procedure. Place the patient 
in the supine position and extend the neck. Prep and drape, gown and glove. Don't forget your face mask. Take the angiocath attached to the partially filled syringe into your dominant hand. Take your thumb and middle finger of your non-dominant hand and secure the trachea. Use your index finger to locate the cricothyroid membrane. With your dominant hand, direct the needle 30 to 45 degrees caudally until air bubbles enter through the syringe. Stop. Advance the catheter to the hub. Confirm placement by reattaching the saline filled syringe to the angiocath and aspirating for air bubbles. Then, attach one of your three setups. Number one, a 3.5 endotracheal tube adapter. Number two, a seven endotracheal tube adapter with syringe. Or three, a 2.5 endotracheal tube adapter with IV tubing. This is the standard method to performing a needle cricothyrotomy and bagging without commercially available jet ventilation kits.